Hey guys, welcome back to Infamous. Last time, I decided to look at this blast core shard or whatever, and I never really thought about it, but it's pretty big. Like, bigger than the race here itself, so... I think from what I remember, it blasted apart the land around it, making it radiated, so... I guess it would make sense that random chunks of rock and metal became, you know, the shards, but it's just... It's interesting to think about. Either way, last time... We finished up all the side missions we could within Infamous 1. At least the ones that were the good ones mixed with all of the others, so... Yeah. All that's left is to do the dead drops, so... And that's pretty much the point of this episode, to scour all of Empire City and find all the dead drops, then finally listen to them all in order and hear the story of John White. Before his death. And before the blast. It was mostly all before the blast, so... Let me grab this. I just wanted to stare at it. I need to collect 30 more. That's fucking... That's annoying. Anyway, uh, yeah, today is mostly just going after blast cores by uh, hitting F... I was going to say F3. It's R3 a million times. We are not playing PC, though I am sitting at a PC, so that might have been the reason why it felt like it... Uh, it... Uh, <laughs> to mix up the words. But yeah, this is most likely going to be the final episode of... Infamous 1 entirely. Uh, we had already completed the story. We pretty much got everything done. I am not planning on doing a evil side story. Just because I don't. I am. I don't care all that much. It is interesting to hear the other side of the story. Though not to the point that I would play the entire game again. <laughs> it's a little bit too much. It's a long. It's not super long though. It is quite a bunch of stuff, though I did want to learn everything I could before we go in Infamous 2. Audio Whenever recording of Kessler follows. Experiment 52C. A full-grown male chimpanzee is connected to the ray sphere via six electrodes. Very close. Mitch, go ahead and turn the meter to ten. Oh. The subject is experiencing minor discomfort. Turn it up to fifteen. Interesting. Let's go to twenty. Subject is now in obvious pain and is bleeding from the nose and ears. Go up to 28, Mitch. I think they're just Damn playing it. in Billie Eilish songs. Well, that didn't work as I expected. Mitch, get someone in here to clean that up. I'm guessing the monkey's head exploded, which is funny. But I was going to comment on why are they so close to each other? <laughs> I thought they were supposed to be kind of distant, John. Kind of interesting. But I did want to learn everything... About it could. Of Kessler follows. Yes, I'd like to schedule a package for delivery. No, just one. Oh. Would it be possible to request a specific courier? I see. Well, I'm sure they're all reliable, but there's only one I trust. His name is Cole McGrath. Yes, I'll hold. So, that's the moment where he was like, we need Cole. We really need Cole. Cole's... I only trust Cole McGrath. Mostly because he's me. And he's got a big pee, -pee For, uh, gilfs. His big love. <laughs> but yeah, what was I saying? I was trying to get as much info before we head into Infamous 2. Even though we're not going to be heading into Infamous 2 anytime soon. I just want to be able to give you all, like, as much background as possible. Let's see, where is... This one is above there. It's in the, uh... It's in this area. Let's see. Very close. Very close. Come on. Yeah, it's been a ton of fun playing Infamous. I haven't played Infamous in quite a number of years. I had gotten the idea from a uh, a friend of mine who said that she really enjoyed Infamous uh, uh, many years ago. Uh, and I was just like, man, I enjoyed Infamous too. Man, I, I wonder how that game stacks up nowadays. Well, I've proven that... Well, it's not the best game ever in the series. It is still a ton of fun to play. And definitely has the most engrossing story of all uh, five games. For different reasons. Infamous 2 has a is better story than other listening ones. listening to these drops? Yes. It's been two weeks since I've had any contact with the agency. And the stuff I'm seeing is a million times worse than what we expected. Animals with superpowers. People moving things with their minds. You can't expect me to handle all of this all on my own. That one's just fucking John going insane. He's like, why is nobody fucking helping me? Why does nobody call me? Why does nobody pick up? 
Am, is this an inner monologue? Am I losing my way? <laughs> it just fucking reminds me of the Shadow the Hedgehog dub. Not the best dub, though I would say it is like third best dub. Depends. Let's see. Uh, where could this be? I guess it's relatively close to us. Oh, it it's right down. Is it right down below me? Wait, there it is. It's like a hiding. <laughs> I still wonder, like, how the fuck did somebody not notice this? This is like right next to somebody, like, most likely watching TV, like, 24-7. They just never notice this random, uh, like, what is it? Like, satellite put here. Also, these ledges are very high. Are they meant to be this high? I have no clue. What are you trying to stop from falling off the edge? Fucking, I don't know, old Shrek? <laughs> I don't know. Shrek. It's Olga now, Lottie. Audio recording of Kessler follows. Final preparations nearly complete. The device will be delivered to the corner of 19th and slow at 1900 hours, with detonation following two minutes later. Post-blast, the device will be retrieved and placed into stasis while I await the results. <laughs> In case the event doesn't bring about the desired results, a second event will be scheduled. What? So, what is the following event, I wonder? Like, we know that the whole thing with Kessler going back in time, that worked out with Cole being getting his superpowers a lot faster than Kessler ever did, meaning that he would be ready to fight the Beast. But I wonder what Kessler's backup plan was. Do it to Trish? Maybe. We don't, we, we'll never know if Trish ever had conduit powers since, well, she never touched the race beer. Definitely didn't work for Amy, but then again, just being in a conduit blast, I don't actually know. It seems like being in a conduit blast still initiates powers because of further things in later games. So I'm not quite sure. I mean, anything can activate uh, the powers of a conduit, it seems like, but the race beer is like a super accelerated version of getting it. It's just like, you know, if you want to speed up the development of a conduit, not their existence of powers, because people who are conduits have a gene inside of them, which is, you know, letting them use all their powers. It's just the race sphere activates it's faster than others, while some people just have their powers just because. Yeah, I'm like running around clicking the stick. I don't... I don't actually know how many are within uh, each area, so I'm mostly just kind of, eh, hoping that it's somewhere. Because they never show up on the map. There's none being checked off, which would be really useful. Because then I can know which ones have I gotten, which ones have I not gotten. Because for now, I don't know. But I wonder what his backup plan was. Zeke can't use the race fear that was pretty much shown in this game. So it's like... Zeke was definitely not the plan for the next user of the race sphere. And Kessler does know Zeke because, you know, he is Cole. He was... Zeke was at his wedding and stuff like that. So it's like... He knows of him. I guess he was just aware that Zeke never had powers. So he's like, alright, well, let's not use him. Let's not use stupid dumbass. It's interesting. I, I wonder what his, his next plan would have been. Maybe the dead drops give it? Or maybe it's like... Uh, I don't know how you would explain it. Just like a you'll never really know kind of thing. Maybe it's explained in comics. Maybe Kessler planned to go back in time again if it didn't work and rework everything. Because I'm not even sure if the uh, race sphere even existed in the last universe or in the last timeline. Based on the evidence I've collected, I'm recommending immediate action be taken against Kessler. Because of the threat he poses to national security, Kessler qualifies for extraordinary rendition pursuant to subsection 34C of the Patriot Act. Please advise. Uh, sorry, I'm drinking Dr. Pepper while enjoying the the voice actor for John White. He's a pretty good voice actor. I won't I won't I won't put him down. He is very convincing as a uh, undercover agent who's trying to stop a criminal organization from taking over the world. It just turns out Kessler wasn't here to take over the world. Kessler was here to uh, save the world in his own fucked up way, I guess. I have no... Oh, God. I don't know what glitch happened there. I really wish I could tell which 
like, uh, things come from which island? Because if I decide to run on over to the Neon and start looking for them, like I'm doing now, um, I won't really have any evidence to say, like, there is no more left in the, uh, in the Warren. I just have, like, no evidence to say it's not, but it's like, I kind of got a bet on it. Because it's like, sure, the, like, the tapping for it, it's pretty accurate and will be pretty long-reaching to see if there's one, like, anywhere near you. But it's like, there are moments where it doesn't seem to grab onto anything. You just have to walk a little bit further to catch it. So it's not, it doesn't reach out far enough for me to know. It's interesting. Audio recording of Kessler follows. Animal-based trials have proven to be an effective, if limited, means of experimentation. Because animals lack the advanced cognitive thinking of humans, the ray sphere literally forces extraordinary abilities upon the test subject. That said, all data suggests that in the event the ray sphere is activated in the presence of a human conduit, the results will be extremely impressive. Ability should manifest within 1 to 48 hours, and given the right circumstances, the conduit will have full control of their powers within three weeks. Current testing shows that the sphere has no effect on humans that are not conduits. So there's... I'm thinking where the game first tells you what super-powered humans are called. They're conduits, because they're, like, you know... They're using their powers. They're conduits for abilities, so they suck in, like, elements and stuff like that. So, yeah, the game never calls Cole a conduit, which is interesting. It only calls them that through dead drops, but then again, there's no way to tell anybody what they're supposed to be called, except for Kessler, because they're not supposed to appear this early. I don't know. Right, at least within Earth's timeline here. Listen, I'm sick and tired of getting the runaround. My handler has vanished, and no one is returning my calls. How much more evidence do you need? If this goes down, it'll be on your hands, not mine. You let this happen. I don't know if maybe... Are we actually hearing them in order? But it feels like John was being beat up in a couple of these. So it's like, I don't think we're hearing them in order. That's the problem. It's interesting. I wish I knew what order they were in beforehand so I could actually you know, get them in a way. Come on. There's only like six left. It's always like that. When you get down to the wire, it gets a lot harder to find them, because, well, you're not finding them as rapidly. Also, somehow he was able to kick off of a, I don't know, a fucking lamp? <laughs> That's interesting. It just feels like these areas are too big for me to find all the dead drops they need. And don't worry, there are dead drops in other games, in other infamous games. So it's not like we are just, this is the last time we're going to be looking for dead drops. They are a constant throughout the series. It's kind of a constant throughout any kind of sandbox game, but it depends on what you're playing. In other times, it's like you have to jump off buildings when you're playing Assassin's Creed. Other times, it's just like conquering bases. I guess you could call the side missions here like conquering bases? Like some of them where we had to flush out people using fentanyl. Maybe, but it's like, eh, I don't know. Those guys should have had some Narcan on them. All right, I'm catching on to another one. It's very minute. It's like I have to focus on that little circle. I wish it was like a, uh, wish I could ping them like in, uh, what is it? Uh, Cole's, like, vision. Also, did you like it when I said ping? I'm going to horribly destroy the mic doing it that way. Uh, is there... Like, technically, you can see what things are glowing using your pulse vision. I wish it was like that for the dead drops. Like, they don't look at that. They don't show up as something that I can sense. They're just, like, a thing. Those damn transients or dustmen, whatever they're called, found me. Busted in while I was sleeping and took the ray sphere. I shot two of them, but the others lost me. I don't know the city as well as they do. I have a single cache of UAVs hidden near the docks. I'm gonna deploy them and see if I can figure out where they took the ray sphere. <laughs> now he is going investigating where the ray sphere could have gone. Let's see, there's only like four more left. I just really wonder how they work in this game. 
In other infamous games, I'm going to probably take out a map to look at for them instead of just doing it this way. There's just so such a little amount for them that it doesn't truly matter if I'm being as accurate as possible with them. It's just like, eh, <laughs> I'll find them at some point. But when there's such a big amount, it's much harder. Made initial contact with Cole McGrath, huh? the so-called electric man, and enlisted his help. Seems to have a good head on his shoulders, but he's been duped into working for someone called Moya. My gut says she's either with a rival agency, a foreign power, or is working for Kessler. Love to get my hands on her and find out what she knows. So, even some of these dead drops are written after uh, he meets Cole. He just refers to him as the so-called Electric Man. I thought he was referred to as the Demon of Empire City, though that might not be a name he gets till later. So it's interesting that he's just referred... I mean, sometimes it could be referred to as... He could be referred to as the electric man in, like, some things. That might be for, like, when he's good and he's the demon of Empire City when he's bad. But in Infamous 2, everybody calls him the demon of Empire City. <laughs> Regardless if he is a good or bad guy. You can also take your save from the first game and port it into the second one. Uh, it doesn't really do much, but... Eh, it gives you a head start on the uh, your uh, karma, because yes, the karma is, the karma thing is throughout the entire series. There's there's no escaping the karma system. There it is. I was right next to this, wasn't I? Or was I? What island am I on? Uh, I guess no. This is just like a copy of something I've been to. Maybe I don't know. Watch some of Kessler's goons raid the TV station that the so-called Voice of Survival was using. Oh. He tried to send out a final broadcast, but they killed him before he could say So that's much. what was happening. Too bad it ended the way it did. Kind of like that kid. I thought the uh, government had raided it, at least according to the, uh, to, like, the, the broadcast that happened right afterwards. But maybe that was a cover-up. Maybe Moya is working for was working for the first sons but i have no clue maybe that's why she called us the first sons were on the lookout for john because he was like he was the undercover agent and he was already run away running away from kessler's like thing by the time the uh, explosion happened in the historic district so it could be that she was an insider in the government and was working with Kessler to find John so that it wouldn't he wouldn't interrupt any part of the mission to try and, you know, make Cole the electric man or the demon of Empire City. So it could happen to be that Moya was working for the first sons. Kinda like uh what John was thinking, that she's not actually from the NSA, she's actually from something else. But it doesn't really explain who was like Taking over, like, the thing. Also, okay, that was only on my side. I was like, could you guys hear that? But it's like, no, that was... A video was rendering. Don't worry about it. They all decided to show up right as I was like, oh, okay, let's go ahead and walk on over to the historic. Because as far as I'm aware, there doesn't seem to be anything left in the, uh... In the, uh the neon district that I can find and the one district I haven't checked yet is the historic so it's like eh, it might be over there I mean I checked around for dead drops in there as well while I was doing the side missions so it's like it's not eh, I'm just like it's eh, it's possible it's possible that I could have cleaned out all of the dead drops that are here On the road to nowhere. On the road to nowhere. <laughs> On the road to trying to figure out where the fuck this could be. If you guys don't like flashing lights, you probably shouldn't have watched this episode because I'm just clicking, 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 clicking. Repeatedly until I can figure out where the hell it could be. <sighs> this is really annoying. <laughs> it's like we've gotten down to the last two and it's like, well, good luck trying to find everything. I haven't really tried to walk around the middle of the cities, though it's like, I'm not sure I'm gonna find much in the middle of them, though I could 
try and do that because the historic is a lot smaller than the neon or the warren so it's like it might be a bit easier to do it like that because i'm not getting any senses here in the historic though it seems like there should i guess they're kind of split all over the place aren't they i have no clue why was john getting beaten up was it was that from the transients or was that the first sons beating him up i don't know I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I wonder if you placed any of the satellites inside of the, uh, the, the satellite dishes inside of the, uh, the parks. Since I've never seen one in a park. I mean, could be possible he put one in here. It'd be kind of, it would kind of, you know, stick out, but at the same time, nobody would be looking for a, uh, a satellite dish inside of a park. So... If anybody had ever caught on to the whole dead drop thing, though I guess the only person that did was Moya, uh, then they could have figured it out. But I guess an area like that would be a bit sneakier. I just have not encountered many dead drops for a while. I wonder if there's like really hidden spots like I haven't thought to go into yet. This is the part from the war into the historic. The part that we fought him on. I mean, technically, we can follow the roads. The, uh... The train tracks are all around, uh... The Empire City. So, it's like, technically, I can ride the train tracks in order to see if I... If I do encounter any kind of dead drops. I, never, I didn't think about that. So, as long as I hold forward and I click the stick... I'll get a mostly correct view of what each area could have within it. The only problem is that... Okay, yeah, the trains are here. So if I run into a train going on the right track, uh, I'd be fucked. But I'm technically on the good track now, since they would be going the same direction I'm moving. I'm, my, my R3 stick, my right and my left stick are going to be very unhappy once this is done. I pretty much made an entire circle, haven't I? Huh. I haven't, san I haven't sensed anything going around the track. So I think the historic's all clean, but I have not checked the middle. I'll go through the middle real quick and then check to see. I, don't I think there's only one train running, actually. Let's go ahead and check through the middle of the historic. Could be in really stupid places, like at the top of a really tall building like this. Mmm, that's fun. I'm like, that's really fun. Uh, actually, we pretty much walked around that entire area, so I think the only area left to check is the bottom of the historic. There's nothing there. And I think the historic's all wiped clean. And I, I ran around the, the neon for a while. I didn't sense anything. I wonder, did he place one in the blast area? Maybe after the blast had happened, for some reason he decided to put one of the satellites in here. I think I found one at the top, one of them at the top of one of the uh, uh, the destroyed areas at one point. Uh, I don't remember if that was actually true or not, but just in case, yeah, it doesn't look like it. Okay, I've checked around the Neon and the Historic. My only idea is we need to retreat back to where this episode began and check on the uh, Warren. There should just be two more left. Just <laughs> It's like looking for a needle in a haystack. But then again, you've got, a, you've got a needle detector, but the needle is only goes like one inch out. So you're having to like climb all over the hay bale. Got a way to find that needle. It's just, like, the worst way to find a needle. <laughs> it's, like, a really bad idea. Jimmy, I think this is a fucking horrid idea. Shut up, Harold. You're stupid. Well, that, that that's not very helpful, is it, Harold? Well, shut up. Whatever the fuck your other name was. Because I forgot the other character's name I came up with. See, I tend to forget people's names. Just so I can wipe them. Oh, there we go. There's one. Let's see. I was like, shit, there's one. I was going to wipe them out of my brain because I don't need to know about Harold. Harold Schmickle Schmackle. 
Let's see. So these should be the last two. It'd be really nice to get these done within the 30 minute mark. That last episode was an hour long. I'd just like to get these done. Let's see. Probably up there on that building. Just need to have a little bit more height. Uh, Cole, why aren't you tall enough? You should be as tall as a building. Like the beast. Well, that would probably be a bad thing to be the beast. Huh. See, come on, jump. Collect this. Been spending a lot of time thinking about what's happened here. The CDC suddenly getting military units. FEMA acting like a law enforcement agency. No word at all from anyone in the NSA. And God knows what the FBI is doing. Seems like someone is setting the stage for a fundamental shift in the way this country works and who runs it. If we don't destroy the race here, there could be people like Cole everywhere. And who would stop him? Nobody. So he's just, now he's falling into the whole just being a paranoid weirdo. Would it make sense of fear of like a million different superpower people? Kessler, Sasha, and Alden already kind of show that, yeah, there is kind of a giant mix of random bad guys all over the place here. So it's, uh, yeah, conduits, conduits, uh, there's very few good ones. There are very few good ones that don't want to kill everybody. There might be more conduits even in the comics than there are in the games. Well, who really knows? I still have not read them. See, there's one last dead drop to be fucking gotten. Ah, uh, it's so annoying. Just clicking, clicking, clicking. Clicking like a fucking chicken. Just staring at the, uh, the mini-map. Like, I don't really care who I run into. The bus kill is the train. I don't remember. The bus is going on train track. No. It probably isn't impossible. <laughs> we don't want to talk about how many videos of buses getting run over by trains we want to talk about. We don't talk about what happened to the bus that day. The bad bus. The bad bitch is bad. Am I, like, sucking energy off of that? I have no clue. Hmm. <sighs> Still nothing. Well, uh, apparently there's two buses running around on that one. I was like, okay, let me pause to see if I've gone around the entire area. So I'll follow the rest of the trains. But I haven't seen anything here in the, uh, the Warren. Quite yet. Like, this is where I entered. And I pretty much got on right here. So it's, like, if it isn't on this last little bit... I'm going to have to spread out into the areas that are more sensible. Because for now, I'm still not seeing it. There's a big dude. I got so mad that I exist, they decided to throw a big dude. Well, uh, I'm not fighting him. I'm going on the rooftops. Besides, you are not a dead drop. You are a, a gorilla. Gorilla Grodd cannot win today. Gorilla, 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 grod, grod, gorilla, grod, gorilla, grod, gorilla, grod, gorilla, grod. Our favorite Marvel character. He is a gorilla, and his name is also Grod. See, this is near the area where the prison is, and I pretty much checked all over the prison, and I didn't see any more than just one or maybe two dead drops on it. So. Hmm. Very interesting. These, I, I wonder if these are even, like, all the dead drops that John ever made. Could just be that, like, the ones that we are listening to are the ones that just John was able to put out. Maybe there's just a bunch that are just, like, you know, they have a lot more information, but for story-wise purposes, you're not supposed to hear them. Like, he's made a bunch, but you never actually get to hear them for story purposes or something like that. I don't know. Don't know if that would actually work thematically, just to not give us info, but whatever, I guess. The last one in the city, wherever it could be. And then they show up, and they're like, we're going to shoot you, Cole McGrath. And I'm like, nah, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm leaving. I didn't see any more near the, uh, the trash bin tower, since I pretty much 
sensed all over that when we did those missions over there. Man. I just have a feeling it's in the neon. It's like, doing all of this is not helping. I mean, I sensed around while I was up in the northern sector of this area. I didn't see much, but I, I want to make sure that I'm thorough as hell with this. If not, then I know I should look back in the neon. Because I was thorough as hell with, uh, what is it, the historic, and I'll have been thorough as hell with the warren. I just wish, like, when there are so little left... Wouldn't it make sense because Moira said that uh, we needed a bunch of them to start sensing them? Uh, to, like, lock into their frequency? Wouldn't it make sense that the more we have, the wider range it has? I don't know. I have no clue. At least for now, we're just kind of like, fuck it, run. Do, 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 do. It's not fun. Not the... I don't like... I guess some people are big fans of, like, combing open world games for, like, all they're worth. But for me, it's never been, like, a a, a good pastime for me. It's always felt like a, this is, this is, like, busy work and it's not fun kind of thing. Instead of it being like, oh, this is super fun. I love running around, I don't know, fucking Italy. Me like, trying to find fucking, I don't know, a picture of Tyler. Like, it's not all that fun. Though there would be pictures of Tyler in Italy. It would make sense. It would only make sense. Let's see. And I don't think there are any more inside of the, uh, inside of the trash band's fucking, uh, hideout. I could be wrong, but I have no clue. Now this is, yeah, I've been in this area, haven't I? I've pretty much skimmed this area as much as I could. Let's see. I can go out to that area, though. That was... That's where I started this episode, so... I have a feeling that the last bit of it is in the neon, so... Time to make a turn around and go back to that area and... See if maybe riding the train tracks would give me a new... A new lease on life or something quite like that. It gives me more info than I truly have. I mean, it could just be in the most, like, obtuse spot. It's in the middle of the ocean. Oh, okay. That's cringe. Like, that's cringe. Let's see. Because it's not in there. I, I went in there and scanned around. It was not in there. Let's see. Is this... I'm just trying to find the right chain that will bring me to a closer way back to the train. Let's see. Alright, there's the train tracks. Now we just need to jump on over. This one will probably go pretty long. I mean, depending on if this last dead drop is easy to find, or if not. Because so far, it has been not. I told you circle to drop, Cole. That's another thing. Cole does not like to drop down from, uh, like anything. Like, I know he's Magnet Man. He's trying to keep me above. But it's like, when I press circle right next to a ledge, I expect to just drop down. Like, I expect to be going down. I'm aware of that. Like, I know, make sure the player just can't do that on purpose, but it's like, just make sure that they're aware that that can be done. Holy shit, can we outrun the train? You run around, I run around, we're all gonna run, run, run around. Anyway, well, I was not gonna try not run the train like that. Ouch. Shit, 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 there we go. Play. I'm not gonna try and outrun the train like that. I know we're not fast enough to catch up to a train, so we're not fast enough to outrun a train. So that would be cool if I could make this, like, super fast. Like, I could just go... Woo! Mm. <laughs> that was a cool little slide there. Good job, Cole. You slid. Cha-cha, real smooth. Let's see. The sad part is that the Neon is the biggest district in the entire game. Probably the reason why you start in it, because it's so big, uh, that it's going to be... It's going to be a long time combing. I love using my comb. That's why I have no hair, because I'm coal. <laughs> no, fuck off. I don't like scorpions. They are mean. Therefore, I will leave to go play with the Joker uh, cosplayers. Let's see, there we go. No, I... Motherfucker. I was like, shit. 
I was trying to stop on top of the train, but it doesn't seem like it liked that. Nor does it like me having to try and do this. Okay, uh... Time to do what we all set out to do in life. Run on train tracks and die. Holy shit! No, Cole, no! Where am I? What? Why am I over here? That's fucking stupid. Because a train ran up and smashed me in the back without me fucking knowing. Therefore, you get to go, you get, you have the big gay dance. You get to have the big gay dance. And I'm not a big fan of the big gay dance. <laughs> oh boy, that's fucking, that, that is really stupid. You should update Cole's fucking positioning when he dies. Is that like the last medical center I set up? That, no, the last one is the one at the end. I don't know why it thought that that was the closest one to me. Fucking hell, these trains are more dangerous. That's because they hit me, but it's because they, they throw me into the water. They're just like all over the place and very badly timed. I don't, I think it's because I've started up pretty much all of them because of those missions. So it's like, mm, you're going to be running into them a lot more since usually you'd only be running into just the one in the neon. So it's like a, just one of those days, Cole, you get hit by a fucking train. <laughs> you get hit by a fucking train. I gotta love it when I get hit by a goddamn train. <laughs> Why? Because I'm deciding to play Tony Hawk's Pro Pro Grinder on uh, that. And by Pro Grinder, I do mean the app. Tony Hawk's Pro Grinder is uh, my favorite video game, where Tony Hawk uh, gets gay, <laughs> gets gay. Yeah, good good sentence, and decides to uh, get on Grinder. Can't put a, can't put a 60 or 50 year old man down. We're trying to find some love in this world. Also, from being on Grinder, I guess. Interesting. Die! Wait, the back! Off me, you fucking scorpion pieces of fuck! You all need to die! And then people decide it's a good idea to jump in between the guy and the fucking scorpion. And then that guy just looks like he's taking his shit on a bench. Good job, brother. Good job. Okay. Be on the lookout for a fucking train. This should be fine. Because I'll know when to shift off. Alright, start the clicking. Let's commence the jiggling. I don't want to commence the jiggling. I don't want to jiggle. If my money doesn't jingle jingle, it dies. Because you're buying so much Digimon shit with my eyes. Oh boy. Um. This is going to be really stupid. I'm having to like... Click this a lot. I'm still not seeing anything. Uh, oh, shit! Please. Other train, don't come. Don't come. Come? Nah, don't say that. Don't say that. Okay, uh. Still not getting anything. What? I don't care. I'm like, I don't care. I guess none of the other gangs ever uh, try and attack you when you're on the train, so. Interesting little spawn. I can't find this thing. This place is so fucking empty that it's like, ugh. Maybe I need to, I'm gonna bring up a map. I don't know how anybody in 2009 is supposed to know this, so it's like, uh, it's one of those stupid things. Infamous dead drops. Dead drops. I just need a map. Give me a map. Okay, Neon District dead drops. Can I get a... <laughs> this is the great... That's a horrible fucking zoom. That's not even a fucking zoom. I, IGN suck. If I were to go up to IGN, I'd say you suck. All right. I wish I knew which one was which, but my 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 goals have told me no's. There's one on this building right here. Doesn't show up. Okay. We shall keep a move on. Keep a move on. Come on. Let's see. 
Walk up this way. Should be on top of the building, cross the way, right up there. Nope, not showing anything. Okay, we'll swivel around and go up to dead drop 13, because apparently that was dead drop one. There's one that is like up on the, near the train tracks over this direction. Let's see. Yeah, so if I go, nothing's showing up here. Okay then, I guess it's it's not here. This is really dumb. I'm gonna have to check all of these areas. So I've checked two, one, and thirteen. Uh, where am I? There. Okay, apparently there's another one in this weird area near the uh, the middle piece. It's the right way. Nope. This direction. Should be at like a crossroads down this direction. See if I can even find it. Be like right here, like right on top of this building. Nothing. Okay. Let's go down the street this way and take a right. There's two really close to each other, and I think that might be the one where it's like uh really like the two right next to each other. Yeah, there's nothing showing up this way. Stop that mugger! I don't care about that mugger. I only care about the hugger. John. He's my he likes to hug me by sending me on these stupid fetch quests. Let's see. We should be scanning them right now. Nothing here. Alright then I guess we'll go down this way to the bottom of the map pretty much. Swoop down and get 13, then we'll swoop around and see if we can find anything. Good job, dude. That man just got shot from fucking nothing. Haven't I seen... I've seen that sign earlier, didn't I? I gotta love just encountering the same exact area because you're fucking blind. Only Google Maps could help me. Google, Google Map, please. Google Map, please. I do not know where Cole McGregor, McGregor, uh, Colette McGregor is. M Colette McGregor needs his new, he needs to get his groove back. Get your groove back, Colette McGregor. Could, what is the blue? I keep on seeing these blue spots. Are those dead drops? What is the blue spot? Oh, blue spots are cores, or shards. Interesting. Yeah, the fucking, the dead drops don't show up as nothing. So it's like, I don't know where I am going. So, right here, I'm gonna cut through here. This is just so stupid, I hate it. I don't want to do the... I don't want to look for the last one. The last one probably says, poo poo, fuck, fuck, die. And it's like nothing happens. It's actually just John reading off his fucking uh, grocery list for the night. Like, uh, I gotta get some eggs. I gotta, you know, tell Cole not to blow up the building. Oh, uh, I didn't get my eggs in time, so therefore I didn't tell Cole not to blow up the building. Well... Anyway, <laughs> that's big sad. I'm going to go ahead and pick up some Dairy Queen while there's still Dairy Queen in the world. <laughs> John is just a big fan of Dairy Queen. I'm just coming up with so many of these stupid head cannons. Like, John likes Dairy Queen. Kessler liked MILFs. The Trash Boys are actually just <laughs> Alden's, like, reject, bro like, grandsons. Kind of like how in Frankie family, everybody thinks Frankie's their dad or something or brother. It's just like Alden's the same way with all of his stupid kids and their goddamn trash can fucking afflictions. You know, I love all of my children, even if they look like disgusting trash people. I love them nonetheless, and Kessler tried to steal my trash sons away from me. I wanted them to become gilf, gilf lovers. Gilf lover 69, is that you? I'm gonna punch the fuck out of this fuckhead. I haven't upgraded any of my powers in quite some time, have I? Let's upgrade my melee for no reason. Yay, I can punch good. 
I probably should have gotten that throughout the game, but and again, I didn't really care. Yeah, I got that one. Okay, so there's only one last area left in the neon to check for uh, blast shards. So if they're not in here, they're not here. I had thought I had skimmed over uh, the neon as gracefully as possible. It should be up on that building, but uh, nope. All right, then. Well, then I know it's not in the neon. Now I need to find a map for the rest of them. Let's see. Neon dead drops four through six. Oh, they're just using the same map. It's just talking about all the different dead drops and describing them instead of just showing me a map and being like, okay, find a mass hole. It doesn't require that much more. I don't want to do the Warren yet. I'm just like, I don't want to do the Warren yet. I just looked around the entirety of the Warren. Can I, like, go to the fucking, I don't know. The historic. I like the historic more because it's small. But then again, that could be the reason why there's nothing showing up there. It is, there is only, like, five dead drops in the historic. While there are, like, 17 in the Warren. Where? In the blue fuck. And they're only, like, in very certain areas. Like, they're in, like, the east side and the south side. There's nothing in the west and north. There's barely a north side of the, of the historic. So it's like, yeah, I don't... <laughs> so stupid. I hate this. Like, I like running around Empire City, but that's when I'm actually doing things. Not sitting here right-clicking or left-clicking in some way. Just to find your fucking MP3 recordings, John. <laughs> well, it's like we're searching for John's SoundCloud. It's like, no, I don't want to listen to your remix of fucking, I don't know, Desposito. Not a fucking, I'm, I don't like that song to begin with. It was a stupid meme when it came out, and it's a stupid meme forever. So accept it. Come on, don't you want to listen to Desposito, my version? It's like, no, John, I don't want to listen to Desposito, my version. More like my version. Hmm. Fucking hell. Whoever fucking decided to place all these things in stupid places is a fucking virgin. I don't want to insult the developers, but, you know, sometimes you gotta accept what you are. You're just not an alpha male like me playing Sonic games. <laughs> uh, we don't talk, we don't want to talk about my first time. It was boring, and it smelled bad. Not me, her. Don't want to mention her name, but she smelled like fucking dog shit. And I wonder how I even got on with that woman. I don't get it. I just do not get it. But, you know, when you're fucking 18 and you're just like, fuck it, get rid of this virginity thing. It's like, yeah, I'll just fucking throw it away on the most disgusting woman you could ever meet. Fucking her, her, apparently her brother had a allergy to tomatoes. That was something weird I learned. I was like, your brother has a, a allergy to tomatoes? She's like, yeah. I'm like, that's not fucking true. That's not fucking true. Probably just doesn't want to eat fucking tomatoes. I'd be the same way. I don't fucking like eating tomatoes either. But at least I'm a man enough to say, yeah, I'm fucking picky. I don't care. I'm a fucking asshole. What do I care about? All right, there's one last little area to look around that's fucking down this direction. Oh, it's probably not there, is it? But, you know, I'm a check anyway. I'm probably going to have to look all over the Warren. It should be, like, on, like, this building. What? Oh, it's, like, on this building. Yeah, it ain't fucking here. I just, I hate this. <laughs> like, why does there have to be so many places... Like, there's literally, like, 14 places I can look for them in the Warren. And I've pretty much looked around almost everywhere. So, I don't know where to go. Like, I've looked at the tippy top of the island. I've looked at, like, the piers and shit like that. My only idea is just that they're in somewhere in the middle of the map that I never recognized. That or there are no more fucking dead drops, and I've just been looking for nothing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 
21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Wait, I got them all? What? Did I? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 30, yeah, the, I, I just miscounted. There is definitely one last one. I was getting scared for a second. I was like, have I been running around with a full, uh, with all of them and just not realized it? But no, no, it's just me and my fucking horrible counting. Leave me alone. I'm trying to like fucking find a MP3 recording. I'm trying to find John's SoundCloud. There's one last one. And it's somewhere out there. I'm gonna fucking find it. I'm gonna find it if I'm dead. So, I already got two near the prison. I know that. There are some more like around the train tracks. But if they're around the train tracks, I should have already found them. But I'm a, I'm a check anyway. I'm a fucking check anyway. See, I think this is the one I had been to right before we started running out of them. So it's like, yeah, there should be one like right here. Nothing. Okay. Fucking scorpions, I hate them. You want to die, bitch? Fucking destroyed. <laughs> Kicked that man to the fucking curb. But it's like, I have no clue. Those two are right next to each other. Which means I think I already got those. Maybe there just is no, like, last. There, There is no thir second, 30 second one. There's just like, <laughs> it's all a trick. They've all been lying to me. Oh, it's the explosion, man. Yeah, suck it, bitch. I'm just like, suck it. Hmm. Where am I? So there should have been one on top of this building. There is not. There should be one, like, next to, on, yeah, stop trying to run at me. I'm trying to save the world by finding MP3s. Yeah, sh fuck off. Stupid scorpions. Burn in hell. Okay, there should be one, like, right here. It's not right here. Okay. Maybe I miscounted. Maybe I really did miscount. I have no clue. Uh, like, I don't know. That the People just keep disappearing. I think it's because of my... Of my selfishness to find mp3s like am i sure i did not just get all of them one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine 30, 31, there is one more, somewhere, I'm trying to remember what the numbers it said, no, it, it is, it is that, I just don't know where that last one could be, I have no clue, unless there's, unless there's like a, a secret hidden one, like 14 plus 12, oh god, there is, Seems 14 plus 12 equals 26. Plus 5 only equals 31. There's one that's hidden, it seems like. At least by my calculations. I don't know. Could there be a hidden one? No. Where could this be? Hmm. No clue. I don't know where this could be. It doesn't make any sense. There's 14 in the Warren. 
Was there only like... How... Okay, there were 13 in the neon. So there must be... I thought there was only 12 in the neon. No, there's an extra one that's adding it up. I was like, shit, is this one like hidden? Like a secret dead drop you're not supposed to know about? I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm losing my mind because I have no clue. So there should be one in between up there. Not there. Wherever it was, it was not there. And there's one all the way at the cusp of all the way at the end. <gasps> there it is. We found it. I had been over here, hadn't I? Maybe I hadn't. Maybe I got it confused with somewhere on the, uh, in the, uh, historic instead of it being somewhere in the, the fucking warren. They look very similar. Okay, this should be the final recording of the entire game. The last of John's random ramblings he wanted me to listen to. The last of John's SoundCloud, you may even say. Hopefully we never have to listen to his shitty SoundCloud ever again. Or listen to Cole's fucking using I think there's supposed to be a thing there and it's not there <laughs> like, I think there's supposed to be a thing okay so that should be the last one how the fuck was I supposed to know it it's at the tippy top of this place I guess I should have checked a bit harder but it's like you, you see you have to be really close all right the final dead drop these things don't seem to have an order is the problem agent white this is NSA director Houston your operation has been terminated no one is blaming you for what happened. We know you did everything you could. We will have a chopper at Drop Point Zeta every day at 1650 hours. It's time for you to come home. Oh. So is that what the, uh... Is that what that helicopter was? That was the heli... Isn't this... This is... No, it's over in the historic... No, this could be it. Isn't this the same exact place where we picked him up from? Oh my god. The helicopter we shot down, or that the, uh, conduit shot down. That wasn't the first Suns. <laughs> that was his actual ride out. That was his actual ride out. Damn. So, it was more or less John's fault he never got out of Empire City. Hmm. So this thing doesn't really have a... an actual, like order to them. They're just kind of there. Contact established with the first sons. Met a woman who called herself Jane, and she asked me a variety of questions, including whether or not I've ever exhibited extrasensory abilities. Told her I have dream-based ESP and involuntary telekinetic abilities. Jane seemed to mull this over for a while. Then she gave me an address. I was instructed to meet her there at midnight. No other details. Okay. I don't know if I've ever listened to that one. Let me see. I'm gonna try and listen to this in order and see if anything puts up. Ten day communication delay due to being incapacitated. Met Jane outside of an abandoned warehouse. She put a black bag over my head, then led me in. Counted 2,000 steps and one right hand turn. She sat me in a chair, strapped down my arms and legs, and left me there. Well, that's not good. Whatever the hell happened there. Oh, we shouldn't have to keep on going down. Let's see. Go down, go down, go down. I don't think I've listened to a lot of these more basic ones. I couldn't stop Kessler from detonating the ray sphere. Damn thing took out five or six square blocks, killed God knows how many. Found the ray sphere in the blast crater next to some kid. Don't know if he was dead or not, I didn't have time to check. I'm gonna try and hole up somewhere. If anyone is even listening to these things, I need immediate extraction. Please, you've got to get me out of here before Kessler finds me. Hmm. Okay, I think I've listened to that one. I think there's one last one I never m listened to, and that was in Introduction Part 3, or Part 2. Don't know how long I sat strapped to that chair. At least a couple of hours. Finally, the bag was removed, and this brute of a man stood in front of me. Had to be seven feet tall and 400 pounds. He told me that he was going to beat me. And if I wanted him to stop, I'd have to... Okay, so I did listen to that one. I think there's... Maybe it's introduction part three? Because I had never known how that finished. 
to admit, for the first 30 minutes or so of the beating, he focused on my midsection. No, I have listened to this. Ribs. I tried to play along and squinted my eyes and gave him looks, trying to make it look like I was really doing something with my mind, but I just made him laugh. After landing three straight blows to my head, he bent over and told me to focus, to shape my thoughts and make them real. And if I couldn't do it, he was going to beat me to death. And he punched me so damn hard, I blacked out. Okay, I think I listened to everything then. I already listened to that one as well. It has a lot of yellow cars. There's actually five yellow cars right there. Six. Okay, well... That was really stupid to get the last one, but... At least we know what all the dead drops were about. It didn't really clue us into much, but I think it did add some extra bits to the story in a way, so... Yeah. We've completed everything that is story contextual or land contextual. The only things left would be doing the stunts and getting all the blast shards, which I don't want to do either, so it doesn't really matter, so either way. I think that's all we got for this playthrough of Infamous 1. So, wins Infamous 2? Don't know. I'm kind of burnt out with Infamous just from this game, so at some point I will return to do Infamous 2, because that is one of my favorite games of all time. It's just like I played so much Infamous, I need a time away for now. And don't know when that'll be, but my thoughts on Infamous 1. It is a really fun game. It's a ton of fun. Just don't go for the extra collectibles. The extra stuff just ain't... It just it just is not important enough to go for. But I guess if you want to go for a trophy completion, this is going to be a really long game. Don't record it. Don't record any of this extra stuff like I did, because it's just not worth it. But either way, what's the next playthrough? There is no next playthrough right now, because I'm still trying to finish up my two Minecraft playthroughs that I was working on, my Fuga 2 playthrough, as well as my Sonic Adventure 2 playthrough. So I can't really give an update on what the next playthrough is, because we're still working on others. So, yeah. Either way, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time on The Backlog. And before I end this episode, I want to thank all of my YouTube members, including the Disciples of Epsilon, Finex. 100,000 Triggers J, Shell Bagon and Hummus, Darcy Lanfranco, Stardrum, The Sword is Still in the Stone, Crimson, Freddy, and Yuki. Without you all, this channel would not stay afloat. So thank you for all your support, and I'll see you guys next time on The Backlog.